going to show you a lot of the stuff I've made today for my doll who is apparently stuck in the mail somewhere. Huzzah! Yay! Um, so everything here I made at some point in time, um, except for cardboard, I don't know how to make that, so, um, but yeah, I made everything here, some of it wasn't originally for her, but, you know, I don't really play with them that much, because they're too tiny, so I figured she'd never know. Pokemon Master, yeah! Um, so I'm gonna run through the stuff, and if enough people like my video, I don't mean thumbs up, I mean like leave a comment saying, I want to know how to make this because it looks cool, then I will put up a tutorial. Um, not necessarily making another one tutorial, but, you know, step by step, this is what you need, this is how you put it together, kind of tutorial. Um, See, so yeah, it's kind of like a verbal tutorial. But nothing was really that difficult. So, yeah, not a big deal. So, first off, just because it's easiest to get to, is... Time for perception. Um, this Pikachu hat that I made out of the tip of a sock that had a hole in it, which is why it got used as a hat instead of a sock. Um, well, I made this out of the sock out of someone else's tutorial. I was like, this is how you make sock hats for your dolls. And I was like, that's awesome, but I don't own any yellow socks, so now what? So I took the sock and I cut out this hat to about, oh, eh, really. The circumference of my girl's head, which is like 22 centimeters. I realize now I probably should cut it a little larger than that, but eh, it'll be a snug hat. It'll be extra warm. Um, so I cut out two semicircles of felt, and then kind of flesh, it either works or you hate it, and then I, um, I glued it to the edge, is because I hate sewing stuff like this because it's super annoying, um, and it's like really stretchy, and it was faster. So I, I glued the edge to this, and then I sewed the edges together. Um, the ears were just, I kind of guesstimated with the shape, like they kind of started as a triangle, and I would wrap them around and, you know, get that shape, and I stuffed them with pipe cleaners, because I'm out of stuffing. Yeah, I need to fix that. And then I took some old, um, this is actually bra material. Awkward. But, um... Yeah, just, I just didn't want felt because it's not shiny enough, or soft enough. It's like really silky, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna not rub that. And then I made just felt cheeks, and everything black on here is that bra material. And then everything else is felt, I think. Except for the white. The white is a piece of t-shirt that I just had on the table, and I was like, hey, now I don't have to go get felt. Um, it saved me a walk across the room. So I kind of wrapped these around and glued them like here, and then I glued this on top with some guesstimating as to how to get the shape. It's like a measure twice, cut once kind of thing. But anyway, so I did that with both ears, and then I sewed it up the side, and then I sewed it through the ear so it would stay, and then just went back down. That was it. I actually glued the face on before I glued it onto the sock so I could make sure that I had the felt going the way I wanted it to go. And I just really wanted to get the face down in place. Because then it would have been harder once it was like this and it wouldn't lay flat. Anyway, so Pikachu hat. Done. Uh, the Mew plushes, I will probably not do a tutorial for because I made the pattern for them and it's kind of a really long process and I'm lazy so yeah but she has a shiny Mew her name is Owie and then a regular Mew whose name is Mew and um, I made them for me months ago like during the summer I think I may or may not have a video up about it I forget things but, um, yeah but they're too tiny I would try to cuddle with them, and then they'd get lost in my shirt or something. It was terrible. 
um, so they have stuffed feet that are pipe cleaners so they can sort of move their feet at different angles and the same with the tail because you know what's a me if you can't position your tail um, I realize they're really long for me to use or just imagine from here down it's just leg so belly leg okay. and the face pattern stupid flash I'm still having issues with as you can see their heads are very different shapes this was not intentional um, this head I actually made first I started with a different design and was like oh that's not right so I tried to look at a Mew plush I bought that I think is official it looks more like a Mew than these guys do um, sorry girls Mew. Um, and yeah it didn't really work out because I cut some corners that I probably shouldn't have yeah. they're so cute and I love them uh, yeah, I know I'm not posting the pattern anywhere, don't ask. Next we have some socks that I made out of some underwear that I've never worn, honest. Um, yeah, they've pretty much just been sitting in the plastic forever and I was like, oh I really like this top design, I'll use that as the top of the socks because it's so cute. Um, and then I just kind of guesstimated a pattern because I don't have my doll yet. Like I said, she's lost in a mail somewhere. And I just kind of drew it and sewed it together. And one of them has a hole in the bottom, but it took so long to flip them right side out that I was just like, screw it, I don't care anymore. <laughs> if anyone makes fun of her whole sock, I'm going to yell at them and insist they buy me normal doll socks. Yeah, so socks, they're really easy to make. You might not need a tutorial for this. Probably not, but and I'll when she actually gets here I'll put up a video of her wearing all this stuff yep my dog's drinking water and I made this skirt I wanted it to be like a really long flowy skirt and I didn't I made it out of a gym shirt and I didn't realize that when I drew on the back of it you could see my name please come <laughs> all the writing through the fabric and I was like, oh no, that sucks, I don't really have any extra room to draw out another one. That and you can see like all the grid everywhere. So I just kind of ran with it and I was like, it'll be a design. So I drew a really crappy butterfly on it. Yeah. And my mom asked, why does it have your name on it? And I'm just like, because it was gym shirt and I didn't realize that it Sharpie's evil. Um, where did that other skirt go? Jenkers! I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, by the way, I messed up on the waist. Because I forgot you're supposed to make the outer fabric longer than the elastic inside so it can stretch. Like, I fixed that with this one. So it stretches to her hip circumference and then shrinks down to her waist circumference. Or, in theory. Yes, there's still red sharpie, but I hit it better this time. Sort of. Yeah. I also use red thread, so that's kind of an issue. No, sharpie. So yeah. Same kind of skirt, except I got lazy and used the hem of the shirt as the hem of the skirt. I'm going to stumble over a word in a minute. So yeah, and I wanted to have it try to flare a little more, so I guesstimated instead of looking it up like I was supposed to. I do that a lot. Hence this. Focus. Wait, get out of there. Naughty dog. No. Don't sniff that. Go away. My dog's getting into trouble. Stop being bad. Go go bark at the trash man. Okay, so next. This one's my favorite, so I'll do this one last. Kimonos. Yay. I used the Undead Threads kimono, somebody already has a tutorial for this up. Um, I'm just going to go through them in the order that I made them, because that is the order in which they suck, going most to least. Probably said that wrong, but you'll figure it out. Okay, so for some reason, when I printed out the template, um, it just, it's supposed to be for SD, this is like just barefoot. I'm wearing pants. 
relax. Uh, it's like just over a foot, and I'm like, her legs are a foot long. This isn't gonna work. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until I got through selling this one. Ooh, Obi. Which is why it has this nifty seam right here. Yeah. Because I was like, no, I'm not wasting another kimono. So I attempted to fix it, if you can call it that. It's got dog fur everywhere, because my dog sheds like crazy and just. Fur gets on everything. So, this one is probably closer to the correct length. And I'll probably, like, pull it up. I saw another tutorial, like, how to pull it up and sew it to make it look like you're doing that thing with the waist sash that makes it look like two different pieces. Um, this one. Focus. Okay, there we go. This one I tried to line and I didn't really have enough material yet because I hadn't gone through and massacred the inside of my closet to find old t-shirts I don't wear anymore. So I got kind of lazy because this wasn't really working out and I hadn't located my red thread yet. So you can see all the seams and stuff on the back. I was going to take it and make neat little spiral designs and then again, laziness! Woo! Um... So yeah, basically if you watch the other person, I can't remember her name, I think it's like Denali Wind or something, I'm terrible with names, so if I got it wrong, I'm sorry, but if you look up how to sew a BJD kimono, hers is like the first one, it's a two part video, it's really helpful, I wish I had watched it as I was making this, because then I would have remembered to sew the sleeves on before you sewed the rest of the kimono up, yeah, that's what it looked like that, my mom made fun of me, it was terrible. Well, not maliciously, just, you know, mom, teething children kind of thing. I love my mom. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, I need to fix this, which I always think I fixed it, and then I look at it and I'm like, no, I didn't. See, I either need to cut this off or glue it or sew it. Probably glue it because I'm lazy. And gluing is just so much faster and you don't have to worry about seams. Um, or you're bobbing, sabotaging you relentlessly. Alright, so that one, the back is lined and the sleeves, if I can open this, are lined. I, this is actually old bed sheet. As you can tell, I have a lot of this material. I haven't even used half of it yet. Um, it had a huge rip in it and we can't use the sheets anymore, so it was like, free fabric! What? Um, I make noises that don't make sense. Bear with me. So, I made this. Yes, I have long nails. Um, and just sort of didn't really know how to sew things because I haven't made clothes before. So I did that. Followed the tutorial mostly and it turned out pretty good. It probably won't stand here because it's been washed like hundreds of times. Because again, old bed sheets, which is why I started that story. Brain, keep up. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to line it just to be safe, and the front of it still isn't lined, and I'm not going to fix that, because, yeah, you know why. Fill in the blank, people. And I made an OB for each kimono, um, out of ribbon and felt and the elastic from the bed sheets, just to tie in the color some more. I left a comment on the person who did the tutorial on her video saying, um, I was going to make the OB, except I left out the part about the ribbon, so... Yeah. And then I used, like, old bra clasps, because it was just easier and I don't have any snaps or buttons. Actually, a button probably wouldn't have worked here, but you get the point. So yeah, and it looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. I mean, I haven't actually seen it on a doll, so all judgment withheld until that happens. And where did the other one go? And then this one, which is made out of felt and t-shirt and ribbon and elastic. This one, the ribbon came out better, slash I was paying more attention, so I realized, oh, if I glue it this way, it looks normal. Let's do it that way. Um, and then, clasp. Again. And then this one is lined all over. Yes, my inner seams suck, but if you're staring at the inside of my kimono, then, yeah, you can afford to get me a new one. Don't judge me! Um, See, so this was after I'd gone through my closet and massacred some white 
gym shirts I haven't worn since middle school. Probably, literally. I'm in college now, so that's a long time ago. So everything is lined. Everything. Um, it's a very nice cotton material. Very lovely. Um, so yeah. And then red thread, so it doesn't show through on this side nearly as much as on this one. Oh, and I figured out how I'm supposed to sew the collar. Kind of. Not really. Because I had one idea, and then I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to do it this way. And then figured the rest of it out, so now it looks weird. Anyway. Meaning it's like really short here, and then it's really long here, so. Yeah. Any questions? Just feel free to ask. The video's getting long. Lovely. This will be the longest video I've ever updated to YouTube. Loaded. Something. Words. Alright, and then I'll start with the OV on this one. Because it has jingles! Jingles! Jing! Yes. Um. Yeah, it has a bell. Because I got some jingle bells with this pretty blue snowflake fabric that was on sale and I got it for like 60 cent. Because it was the end of the roll. Because I bargain hunt like a boss. Um, not really. No, I don't. <laughs> I just like to say that. So I used a different ribbon, it was not as silky as the pink one, which is actually a Coach ribbon, because Coach makes the best ribbons ever. Um, yeah. Shush. So I just used that as an accent, because I didn't think red elastic would go really well on this. And yeah, I know it's all frayed on the sides, it's, it's hot glued down so it won't come loose. I tried to trim a lot of the fraying and it didn't really work, but... Hopefully nobody's really scrutinizing it that closely, except me, so, yeah. And jingles to distract people! So, yeah, t-shirt, ribbon, extra fabric, felt, clasp. And my lovely, lovely kimono. I love you. Um, that was weird. So this one is also lined, and I altered the pattern a bit to make the sleeves longer because I realized the sleeves on these aren't long enough for her arms. Her arms are like what, 25 centimeters and her shoulders are 11 centimeters wide. So that's like about here and then just the rest of the sleeve on that one just didn't come out far enough for me to be really happy about it. And I switched back to my white thread so I didn't have the same fiasco as I did the first time because I'm somewhat intelligent at least. And again it's lined everywhere. Just lined. And my seams are still horrible, because I didn't realize, hmm, if I just cut out one big piece of white, which probably wouldn't have fit the t-shirt anyway, I could cover up these terrible, terrible seams that I hate so much. Hate and hate. Um, yeah, another gym shirt. And the collar this time is much, much, so much, I can't even tell you, there are no words, better. Yeah, it's still frays on the inside, I need to trim that. Um, but the length of the collar is even everywhere. So, woo! But again, not my tutorial, and if you ever have printer problems with the SD pattern from the undead threads, um, then yeah, I just kind of doubled the length of the sleeve and both ways. So like, double this way and double that way. I think one of them's actually slightly longer than the other one, because I wasn't paying attention. That happens a lot. Um, yeah. So basically just be careful, measure twice, cut once, and sew once so you don't end up with two useless kimonos. Hmm. Well, one and a half. Yeah, we'll just say one and a half. Now I fixed it so it's not all flippy flappy. Yeah. Hands, I suck at them. Yeah. So this is my favorite kimono because it's the best workmanship and I really love this fabric. It's so soft. Well, not as soft as t-shirt fabric, or this, but you get the point. So that, I'm not going to fold them right now because I'm lazy and I only have one hand. And then, couch! Which was made out of shoebox that had stuff in it at one point, and I couldn't figure out how to get the box open, so I was like, screw it, I don't care. I just kind of put them in there. Ginger, how did you get up here? Ninja dog. Anyway, I'm sure you're all going to leave comments like, Oh, she got a pair of this and Yeah. So, I also kind of 
used a hybrid of tutorials for this. So, and they're all on um, DeviantArt. I will try to link them someday, probably not, but just know I didn't come up with the entire plan for this. I just kind of went with it. So it's loosely based on other people's tutorials. And fur everywhere. Why do you drop fur? Um, so yeah, shoebox, cardboard that I kind of folded over, which is based on the main design that I use. The actually the other tutorial that I looked at. The only thing I really took from that is gluing the fabric down because I'm too lazy to sew things anymore. Sewing's for people with free time. Um, and patience. I have none. So yeah. So basically took a cardboard shoebox and then hot glued a bunch of other cardboard to it. And then folded this over so it was round and then glued it to the side. And I forgot to glue this, but I glued the bottom so I'm like, eh, it'll be a pocket. And then it I was sort of gluing fabric in places. I just kind of brought it up because the back doesn't need to be stuffed. No, it's going to lean against the back of the couch thing. Fuzz. Um, so I brought it over and had enough extra fabric that I could stuff it. So I'd fluffy! I did the same thing with this. Except I tried to pin it under so it looked just like massive seat. It looked more like, oh look, there's a pillow on here, but it's not removable. Yeah. And I did stuff the insides of these just so the fabric wouldn't just go in and stay there. Like it's kind of doing anyway. So at that point I realized, oh, I'm running out of fluff. That's not good. So yeah, shoebox, cardboard, stuffing, fabric, glue. Make sure you have a lot of fabric. Like the tutorial I originally looked at. It was like, just throw a big piece of fabric over it and then pin it in places and then sew it. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. So, gluing. It was easier and faster by a lot. Unfortunately, since this has sort of like a stripe design, you have to make sure all the stripes are going the right way. And I just realized this is going the wrong way. I don't care anymore. Um, everything else is still going the right way. Like, this is going the same way, this is going the same way, this is going the same way, this is going the same way. Done. Um... So yeah, couch. It was supposed to be like a really long couch, and then after making this, I realized this is going to be more like a loveseat kind of thing. I basically want, I made this before I made the bed, which is this thing. So she was supposed to be able to like lay on and like prop her knees up right here and then lay. So hopefully that'll still work out because I can lay on our couch that way. Um, puppy. Alright, short attention span. And getting shorter. Alright. Long videos long. Alright, so bed made out of t shirts, boxes, uh, various fluffing items because I ran out of stuffing, so I just used old holy socks that I don't use anymore and dog toys that she hasn't messed with in ages. And just clothes I don't wear. Other than the shirt. I used the shirt because I'm like, my roommate last year was like, hey, do you want a free shirt? And I was like, I always want a free shirt. So she gave me the shirt and I'm like, it's a give blood shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't give a fuck because I'm terrified of needles. I'd probably kill something to try to get away from it. So I'm like, I can't wear this shirt because I don't, I don't do that. I'd feel terrible. So, yeah. I really like the design. Not necessarily the give blood part, which I really cover that up. But, you know, the trees and the birds. It's like a cardinal or state bird. Um, yeah. Snow, because I like snow. And this is just a body pillow that I made because the company I got her from doesn't have body pillows yet. And I realized as I was sewing it together and stuffing it with random stuffing from places, this is why I ran out of stuffing. And I was like, oh no, it's too skinny. I'm gonna do, I'll just tie her to it with ribbon. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah. So I took a couple of QVC boxes, as you can see. Not sponsored, but they're awesome. Um... And just kind of, here, this will easily make, oh no, did I lose my pillows? Yes, I lost my pillows. Uh, T-shirt pillows. Woo, they're so fluffy. Um, yeah, hyper for no reason. 
So a couple of QVC boxes, and I'm going to explain what I did, because one box is the way it originally was, and the other box I kind of massacred a little bit because it was too wide. Um, so I ended up cutting up and around, oh, sorry, diver, and around, and then taking what I cut off and then putting it back in so it still had this side to it. Because it's just awkward when your bed's missing a side. Um, especially when it's only half of a side. They were the same length, so I didn't have to do anything with it that way. But you can see right there where I glued it back in. So I did that, and I left this hollow because it can double as some sort of storage thing. Where the dog can't get to it. Because she likes to eat things that don't belong to her. So then I took the back half of this shirt, which is actually flipped the wrong way because I wanted this tag to be, you know, pinned in. But I wasn't paying attention when I put the glue down. And I was like, hurry up and stick it to it before the jerk glass. Yeah, see, there we go. I just stumbled and massacred a couple of words. Whatever. So, I glued it down here. Well, not very well. After I took, like, the edges of the boxes, in case you're wondering where those went, I cut them all off. Like a crazy person. And I glued these two together just because I wanted it to be thicker. Um, I did the same thing with this side. Yeah, it's because two pieces are better than one, and I really like this Q design. It's so cute. I love it, and it's like that turquoise blue color. It's like one of my favorite colors ever, which is why this is showing. Because I was originally gonna have it flipped around and just show the backside, and I'm like, brown. That's so boring. So yeah, it's a day bed. It's kind of like my bed, except I sleep at this end on my bed. And then by the time I realized, oh no, it's backwards. I'd already glued that side in, so it's too late. Oh well. Yeah. So I just glued this edge down, and I glued this edge down after gluing all this stuff to the back. You can see it. I'm not going to paint the outside because it looks cool. I glued this down, and I may or may not have glued this down. And then I just stuffed it with things. You can feel it. It's so lumpy, but wonderful. Yeah, like, if you laid on this and you were at all, it would still be comfortable. It wouldn't be as comfortable as if you were laying on this, because this is still cotton, but it would be freaking awesome. It's just like, it's so textured and lovely. So, after I did that, I... Uh, ah! What the... Stupid flash. The camera is stupid. Um, so I glued this side down after that. I may or may not have glued this side once I was done. I don't remember. And glue this to the bottom, and it because of the armhole, it didn't come down all the way. Like I think this might be the edge of the shirt. I'm not gonna mess with it too much because it'll come out, and then I'm gonna have to re-glue it, and then I'm gonna kill something. Um, so I was like, what can I use to cover up the unevenness? And then I remembered I had cut a piece like this out for the obi of the first kimono I made because I wasn't paying attention because I told myself, oh, I'm gonna use a different color to make the obi because if I just use red, it'll blend in, and I'll know it's there. Attention to me. So I glued this strip down to make it look like a bed skirt, which actually matches the skirt of the bed I'm on right now, but I'm too lazy to bend over backwards and show you. So yeah. And the body pillow is actually also to test the length of the bed, which is good. I'm about that snug in mine. And this is a little moment she's gonna be like, What is wrong with you, Flash? So yeah, so there's that, and then her comfy pillows that look like they have ribbon attached to them, but they don't. T-shirt, same! Um, yeah. And then, top blankie, which is very nicely decorated. And, yeah, I actually kind of ran through a tutorial of the bed already, so. Woohoo! So if you want to know any more details about how I made things that I actually have the templates for, so let me know. And on a sad note, because I didn't make these for her, I'm giving her my little stuff boxes because they're so cute. Yep. That's everything. Cubic! And Ed! Woo! Hyper. I need to eat breakfast now. Anyway, love you, YouTube. Bye bye. Ginger! Ginger. Wake up. Say goodbye. She's like, why do you wake me up for such pointless things? Tudo!